Jury finds Donald Trump sexually abused columnist E. Jean Carroll. Verdict for first time legally brands a former U.S. president as a sexual predator, but clears Trump of... Man, this guy is setting up all of the records. Uh, first president to be impeached twice. First president to be arrested after leaving office. Uh, and now, uh, first former president to be legally, officially uh, a sexual predator. That's great. Well, it's not great. A New York jury found on Tuesday that Donald Trump sexually abused the advice columnist Eugene Carroll in a New York department store changing room 27 years ago. The verdict for the first time legally brands a former U.S. president a sexual predator, but as it is the result of a civil and not criminal case, the only legal sanction Trump will face is financial, of course. In explaining a finding of sexual abuse to the jury, the judge said it had two elements, that Trump subjected Carroll to sexual contact without consent by use of force, and that it was for the purpose of sexual gratification. That is how it works. The jury deliberated for less than three hours? It did not find Trump Carroll, but did find him liable for sexual abuse. It awarded about $5 million in compensatory and punitive damages, about $2 million on the sexual abuse count, and close to $3 million for defamation for branding her a liar. Before the verdict in the highly charged case, the judge, Louis A. Kaplan, warned the courtroom, no shouting, no jumping up and down, no race for the door. After the verdict, as she was escorted to a car, Carroll said, we're very happy. George Conway, a conservative lawyer and Trump critic who encouraged Carroll to sue, said on Twitter, God bless E. Jean Carroll and congratulations to Roberta Kaplan, Carroll's attorney, and her team for a job well done. Are they getting roasted by uh, conservatives? Uh, not yet. George Conway is one of those rhino types, you know? Like, oh, I follow him. Are we oomphies, though? Sorry, guys, not oomphies. Do I like and retweet? Yeah, I guess I do. Convicted for sexual abuse, former president. I mean, you know, pretty big deal. Vosh, he, he said he would grab him by the pussy, and he did. Finally, a president who will keep his word. There you go. Trump used his uh, Truth Social platform to say, I have no idea who this woman is. This verdict is a disgrace. A continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. Man, he he truly is the GOAT, isn't he? Gets convicted $5 million in punitive and compensatory damages for sexual abuse. I have no idea who this woman is. No clue whatsoever. At least he's consistent. Yeah, consistently f funny. I have no idea who this woman is. This verdict is a disgrace, a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. Oh my god. His defense said she wasn't his type. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, you get the standard, like, smearing of, 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 of victims or abuse victims. Yeah. You can't talk about this without watching his testimony. Um, well, it wasn't uh, recorded, was it? I mean, we just, we, here, here we have an artist's interpretation. So he's saying, like, I have no idea who this woman was. Oh, was it? It is on video. Oh, okay. Well, where is it? I want to see. Oh, oh, oh. This was the one where Trump directly attacked the judge. That's right. I remember it now. I remember it. Yeah, it's all coming together now. In front of you, a black and white photograph that we've marked as DJT23. And I'm going to ask you, is this the photo that you were just referring to? I think so, yes. Okay. And do you recall when you first saw this photo? At some point during the process, I saw it. That's, uh, I guess, her husband, John Johnson, who was an anchor for ABC. Nice guy, I thought. I mean, I don't know him, but I thought he was pretty good at what he did. Um, I don't even know who the woman. Let's see. I don't know who. It's Marla. You say Marla's in this photo? That's Marla, yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which one, woman are you pointing to? No. That's Here. Tara. Oh, is that? The oh, person okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Who is that? Who is this? <laughs> and the person, the woman on the right is <coughs> your then wife, I don't Ivana? know. This was the picture. Ivana. I assume that's John Johnson. Is that that's Carol? Because it's very blurry. 
it's indicative of so many things. His faltering brain, the fact that he truly does not give a shit about his former, um, about his, his, his ex-wives or like anyone in his life, really. And the fact that the defense would try to say that uh, Carol wasn't his type when he mistook Carol for his wife. Phenomenal stuff. He's sundowning so bad. Yeah, dude, I take it back. I think that all presidents should be 85 because watching them sundown is really funny, actually. It's really, really, really funny. Like, Biden and Trump are sundowning in different directions, and it's, it's just, it's very amusing, isn't it? It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the Well, that's what, it's, if you look over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true, not always. This, this, is, this is me explaining how the only thing you need to do to get a woman is to have good grip strength and crush them into a, into a ball. And, you know, this is my president. Oh, my God. Is but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. And you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. She's accusing me of... A woman that I have no idea who she is. It came out of the blue. She's accusing me of rape, of raping her. The worst thing you can do, the worst charge. And and you know it's you know it's not true too. You're a political operative also. You're dis you're a disgrace. But she's accusing me, and so are you, of rape. and it never took place. And I will tell you, I made that statement, and I said, well, it's politically incorrect. She's not my type, and that's a hundred percent true. She's not Mistook my type. Mistook her for his wife. This, this ridiculous situation that we're doing right now—it's a big fat hoax. She's a liar, and she's a sick person, in my opinion. Really sick. Something wrong with her. Phenomenal stuff. And, and by the early 1990s. This okay. So this is the full. De so wait. Okay, the full deposition only just got released. Then right, there were clips beforehand, but now we have the full thing because they were they were moving on to jury deliberation. Is that what? Is that why I thought that they didn't have any full video from it? Or has the full deposition been available for a while? Oh, it's it's all the way from October 2022. Okay, then I'm totally wrong. Yeah. A whole 48 minutes of deposition from my president. Would it be fair to call you or to characterize you as a real estate tycoon? Yeah. Um, Trump Tower... Um, on Fifth Avenue, that was completed in 1983. Around that time, yes. And when did you move into the uh, your penthouse apartment there? Not all of this is going to be interesting. That after you made the statement, you were became aware that there's a photo of you with Ms. Carroll in a receiving line. Correct? At some point, okay. I saw there was a photo on a receiving line. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, mark the photo. What number are we at? To what? My wife. Ah, uh, this is the my wife bit. Here in front of you, a black and white photograph that we've marked as DJT23. And I'm going to ask you, is this the photo that you were just referring to? I think so, yes. Okay. And do you recall when you first saw this photo? At some point during the process, I saw it. That's, uh, I guess, her husband, John Johnson, who was an anchor for ABC. Nice guy. I thought, I mean, I don't know him, but I thought he was pretty good at what he did. Um... I don't even know who the woman. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know who. It's Marla. You're saying Marla's in this photo? That's Marla. Yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which one, one are you pointing to? Now? He's such a wife Here. guy. Oh, is that? The oh, person oh. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Who is that? Who is this? <laughs> and the person, the woman on the right is your then wife, I don't Ivana? know. This was the picture. Ivana. I assume that's John Johnson. Is that that's Carol? Because it's very blurry. <laughs> now, in your June 21 statement, he knows. He's like, Argh. nah. They tricked me. They were two blondes. Which is in your June twenty one statement, which is DJT twenty. What do the comments say? Well, it's this is the Fox Five New York thing, so I'm assuming it's full of people saying that's my president. Actually, it looks like it's kind of a battleground here. Yeah, it's a battleground down here. You said that uh, Ms. Carroll was trying to sell a new book. Um, and that you said shame on those who make up false stories of assault to try to get publicity for themselves or sell a book. No. 
That's right. Uh, before you made that statement, did you have any knowledge, one way or the other, of the financial arrangements between Ms. Carroll and the publisher of her book? No. Did you even know who her publisher was? No. Had you ever seen her book contract? No. Um, did you know anything about Ms. Carroll's financial situation? No. Did you know anything about her uh, expected book sales? No idea. Before you made the statement that appears in DJT 20, do you know whether you or anyone working for you did any research on Ms. Carroll? No, Bruce. I, I just don't know. It's possible somebody, Maybe. When, when they heard this horrible accusation, it's possible that somebody did a little quick research, but not that I know. He looks so sad. He's a little cinnamon roll that you just want to protect. Is this the anime concept of Moe? Another thing that you say uh, in your June 21 statement is that uh, Ms. Carroll was trying to carry out a political agenda. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before issuing your statement on June 21, did you, have any, did you learn what political party Ms. Carroll, Ms. Carroll no, belonged to? I didn't know that. Um, before you issued your June 21 statement, did you have any documents indicating uh, that she was pursuing a political agenda? No. Uh-huh. At the end of your statement, your June 21 statement, you say, if anyone has information that the Democratic Party is working with Ms. Carroll or New York Magazine, please <laughs> notify us as soon as possible. Did anyone ever notify you? I don't that? know. <laughs> He's so good, man. Gets publicly accused of and charged with immediate response. I want, I want you all to go out there. I want you to find out anything you can about this lying woman, this terrible, horrible woman. Find out who she works for. She has been sent to attack me. That's fantastic stuff, man. Oh my god. Ah. It, it really is refuge and audacity, you know. I swear to God, Trump is like a is like lightning in a bottle. Nobody, not the Santis, nobody would be able to get away with as much as he has. Only he can do this. Okay, the Santis is too much of a politician. Donald Trump, you know, I'll give him credit for this one specific thing. He's not a politician. He does not have the grace, or the temperance, or the patience to be a politician. He is just a guy in political office. Not presently, but he was for a little bit. Um, refuge and audacity, man. You can get away with so much more stuff if you're literally too stupid and insane to, like, navigate the consequences. That you can't recall anyone who notified you? I don't know, yo. His ex-wife, Ivana, also accused him of rape. Bro, bro, everyone around him is accused of rape. Donald Trump has had literally dozens of credible charges of he was, he's self-professed a close friend of Jeffrey Epstein. Like, this is, it's, it is so obvious. It's so on the nose with him. Like, it, you know, um, <laughs> the Luffy of U.S. politics. True! Literally true, you know? The rest, the rest of the, the Republican Party, you know, Sanji and, and Zoro and are trying to like, ah, I've got to achieve these goals. Meanwhile, Trump is just kind of lumbering through <laughs> Yeah, he's even kind of the same color, right? I don't know. Luffy's kind of orange. He confessed to waiting in the uh, little girls' changing rooms and looking at them, yeah. Yeah, he was accused of raping children, yeah. Luffy is not orange. Isn't he? Like, he's not orange. I mean, like, his... Oh, no. Sorry, I was... A in my brain, I was averaging out the red and the yellow. My bad. His hat's orange. Because it's straw. Kind of, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Whatever. The other things that you said about Ms. Carroll. I thought you meant Luffy raped a bunch of people. I was very confused. No, you're thinking of Sanji, and also that one leopard dude from Thriller Park. Okay, you're thinking of you're thinking of different characters. All right, Luffy is an ace king. Carol at the time appears in your June 24 statement, which is DJT 22. And what you said there is. I'll say it a with great respect. Park, Number one, she's not my type. 
when you said that Ms. Carroll was not your type, you meant that she was not your type physically, right? Uh, I saw her in a picture. I didn't know what she looked like. Uh, and I said it, and I say it with as much respect as I can, <laughs> but she is not my type. And again, when you say type, you just refer to looking at photos, so you mean physically she's not your type? Uh, physically she's not my type, and now that I've gotten indirectly to hear things about her, she wouldn't be my type in any way, shape, or form. But when you were talking back on June 24th, you were referring to her not being your type physically. I correct? saw a photo of her, okay. and the only difference between me and other people is I'm honest. She's not my type. I take it the three women you've married are all your type. Yeah. What is true social? Oh, uh, there we go. Dude, literally, like, the loot mistakes Carol for his wife, and then he's like, she's not my type, but this person, my wife, who's actually Carol, is my type, because my wives are all my type. Yeah, okay. Dude, I, the, the, the person talking to her right now had to be, when, when he f***ed up and mistake that person for his wife and not Carol, that must have been the easiest layup for her, like, imaginable, right there. He's literally just, this is why Trump's lawyers never want him to be under oath, because he is not capable of, like, restraining himself from doing really dumb shit. It's a platform that's been opened by me uh, as an alternative to Twitter. And your handle on True Social is at real Donald Trump? I believe so, yes. Okay. Now, <laughs> on October Maybe. 12, just, just a few days ago, you issued a statement on True Social about Ms. Carroll in this case, correct? I believe so, yes. And Possibly um, some people say this. The statement that you posted, who wrote that statement? I did. You yourself? Yeah. Um, did you post the statement yourself? Yes. Um, and in addition to posting the statement on True Social, you also sent it to the press. <laughs> yes, uh, it's called uh, Truth and Post. We post uh, much like, uh, how would you say it? We put out a statement and we also put it on Truth. Okay, let's look um, at the statement. Let's mark it as, uh, what's the uh, number? 28. DJT 28. Okay, so this one. I can't read this. Well, we have a blown up version. Let's mark it as 28 and 28 to 8. Somebody, said, somebody linked this earlier where they said that a lot would be explained if Donald Trump has incredibly bad vision and he just doesn't wear glasses because he's, um, uh, he's too egotistical to wear them because he thinks it would make him look like a nerd. Why not just get contacts then? Oh, and he, he wears glasses sometimes when he's like not Consider the teleprompter question. Here's Barack Obama's teleprompter in 2009. Here's Donald Trump's. <laughs> wow! Look at that! That's like a projector. So what we have in front of you is DJT28, sir, is the post as it appeared on True Social on October 12, 2022, and a blown up version, because we appreciate the, the reading, the type is very small, a blown up version that should be more legible. Do you have both of those? I can see it, yeah. Okay. So it says, October 12th, 2022, statement by Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States of America. This quote, Ms. Bergdorf Goodman case is a complete con job and our legal system in this country, and, and our legal system in this country, but especially in New York State, just look at Peekaboo James, is a broken disgrace. You have to fight for years and spend a fortune in order to get your reputation back from liars, cheaters, and hacks. This decision is from the judge who was just overturned on my same case. I don't know this woman, have no idea who she is, other than it seems she got a picture of me many years ago with her husband shaking my hand on a reception line at a celebrity charity event. She completely made up a story that I met her at the doors of this crowded New York City department store and within minutes swooned her, <laughs> swooned is in quotes. It is a hoax and a lie, just like all the other hoaxes that have been played on me for the past seven years. And while I'm not supposed to say it, I will, this woman is not my type, exclamation point. She has no idea what day, what week, what month, what year, or what decade this so-called event, in quotes, supposedly took place. The reason she doesn't know is because it never happened, and she doesn't want to get cut off with uh, caught up with details or facts that could be proven wrong. If you you can't beat this posting power? That's true. Man, I, dude, can you imagine? I, I so badly wish Saul Goodman to Electric Boogaloo during the Twitter era. He would be an incredible poster. He would also be an incredible lawyer to Donald Trump. Anderson Cooper's interview with her, where she was promoting a really crummy book, you will see that it is a complete scam. She changed her story from beginning to end after the commercial break to suit the purposes of CNN and Andy Cooper. 
Our justice system is broken along with almost everything else in our country. Her lawyer is a political operative and Cuomo crony who goes around telling people that the way to beat Trump is to sue him all over the place. She is suing me on numerous frivolous cases just like this one and the court system does nothing to stop it. In the meantime, and for the record, E. Jean Carroll is not telling the truth, is a woman I had nothing to do with, didn't know, and would have no interest in knowing her if I ever had the chance. Now, I, now all I have to do is go through years more of legal nonsense in order to clear my name of her and her lawyer's phony attacks on me. This can only happen to, quote, in quotes, Trump, exclamation point. That, did I read that correctly? Great statement. Yeah. Um, and now that you've heard it again and you have it in front of you, you again confirm that you wrote the whole thing yourself. I wrote it all myself. All myself. Did you now, at the beginning of your post, the reference Ms. Bergdorf Goodman is a reference to Ms. Carroll, right? That's right. Now, when you say in here, I don't know this woman and have no idea who she, was, who she is, even though you're using the present tense, you're referring back to your knowledge as of when she first made the allegation. I still don't know this woman. <laughs> She's a whack job. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this woman other than what I read in stories and what I hear. Uh, I, I, know, I know nothing about her. Okay, well, I guess the distinction I'm trying to make, sir, is that when the allegation came out in 2019, you said you, you, I think it's your testimony, you had no idea who she was. That's right. I still don't. Well, today you at least know that she's a plaintiff in a case suing you, correct? Oh, yes, that I know. Okay. But I know nothing about her. I think she's sick, mentally sick. Okay. Um, you say in this post, you use a strange word, which I'm not sure about. You say she completely made up I'm sorry. I'm going to lose my shit. Hold on. Oh, my f God. Oh, my f God, man. Sorry that I met her at the doors of this crowded... New York City department store, and within minutes swooned her. You see that? <laughs> what does swoon for me? Uh, that would be a word, maybe accurate enough. Uh, he, he's, he's getting careful here. He's like, well. <laughs> Having to do with uh, talking to her and talking to her to do an act that she said happened, which didn't happen. And it's a nicer word than the word that starts with an F. What? And this would be a word that I used because I thought it would be inappropriate to use the other word. Wait, by swooned, he meant... He didn't mean, like, impressed her? He, 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 the word he meant is fu- Okay. Um, and it didn't happen. Okay, I, I was curious when I read this, so I looked up the word swoon in the dictionary. And under the dictionary, it means to faint with extreme emotion. That's not what you meant here. Objection form. Uh, well, sort of. That's what she said I did to her. She fainted with great emotion. She actually indicated that she loved it. Okay? She loved it. What? commercial break. In fact, I think she said it was sexy, didn't she? Wait, is, is, wait, is, he, is he saying she claimed that I raped her and in her t version of the story, she liked it anyway, but it didn't happen? Oh, my God. Well, I, I can see why she got the $5 million payout. It's very sexy to be raped. Didn't she? Okay. If ever you've wondered why the GOP did such a push for Ron DeSantis, despite people clearly preferring Trump, this is why. You can't trust Trump. He can't be controlled or navigated. He, he, he can't be directed. <laughs> he has no filter. So, sir, I just want to confirm, it's your testimony that E. Jean Carroll said that she loved being sexually assaulted by you? Well, based on her interview with Anderson Cooper, I believe that's what took place. You, we, can, we can define that, you'll have to show that. I'm sure you're going to show that, but she was interviewed by Anderson Cooper. Remember, the jury deliberated for only four hours before settling on the five million. Or not, they don't decide the charge, but before settling on their verdicts. And I think she said that it was sexy. Which it's not, by the way. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> what a feminist king. But I think she said that rape was sexy and... It was, she actually said things that were very strange, and then she was a different person after the 
when he said, we'll take a break right now. We're going to take a break right now. He didn't like what she was saying. He was very upset with what. And then she came back and she was a much different woman the second, in the second half, so to speak. And so the question I'm asking you is, did she say in that interview that she loved being sexually assaulted by well, you? Well, she said something to that effect. I mean, you'll have to take a look at the interview yourself. Uh, I believe she said it was sexy, to which Anderson Cooper is dying. He's saying, let's get to a commercial break immediately. I think you better watch the interview. I'm sure you have. Does anyone have a link to the interview, just out of curiosity? You better watch the interview. In the interview, when Ms. Carroll talked about being sexy, isn't it true that she said that's a view that many other people hold? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. All I know is I believe she said is sexy or something to that effect, but you have to watch the interview. It's been a while. And just to clarify, <laughs> I think you said a few minutes earlier that you used the word swooned as a synonym for, you said the F word, for sexual intercourse? Yeah. Okay. His lawyer just got wheeled out in a stretcher. They, the, they, he holds up emergency services because EMT teams have to be like willing to respond at any moment to lawyers of Donald Trump in case he says something that just kills them. The transcript? Okay, transcript's better because it's not copyright, but it's like longer. Is there, wait, let me see. Does it say, does it, commercial break. Here we go. Okay, so this is, so according to Donald Trump, before they cut to commercials, um, yeah, dog, look at my client. No, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's see right here. Carolyn Cooper, okay? Carol says, that was a dumb thing to go into a dressing room with a man that I hardly know and have him shut the door and then be unable to stop him. And I was a competitive athlete, so I wasn't like a, I didn't freeze, I rose to the occasion, it did not last long. That's why I didn't use the word you just used. I used the word fight. Cooper said, you don't use the word Carol said, sexual violence in every country and every strata of society, or se sexual violence is in every country and every strata of society, and I just feel that so many women are undergoing sexual violence. Mine was short, I got out, I'm happy now, I'm moving on. And I think of all the women who are enduring constant sexual violence. So this one incident, this one, what, three minutes in this little dressing room, I just say it's a fight. That way I'm not the victim, right? I'm not the victim. Cooper says, you don't feel like a victim. Carol says, I was not thrown on the ground and ravished, which the word carries so many sexual connotations. This was not, this was not sexual. It just hurt. It just, Cooper said, I think most people think of rape as a, as a violent assault. It's not. Carol says, I think most people think of rape as being sexy. Cooper said, let's take a short break. Carol said, they think of the fantasies. Cooper said, we're going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. Carol said, you're fascinating to talk to. Okay. So Trump is half correct here. Cooper obviously cut to commercial break here because the convo was getting too real, but this is not Carol saying she finds sexy. This was her like correctly, if maybe a little bit inarticulately here for the for the television format, um, saying that sexual violence is really common and that it's highly fetishized. But she didn't say that. Um, like she didn't say she believed that. So okay, so Donald Trump uh, clip trimmed her. I wow. Me and uh, and and Carol, I guess, uh, victims of clip chink uh, chimping constantly. That conversation hurts because of how she's coped. Um, I don't think what she said is necessarily cope. Uh, I mean, it definitely can be that. Uh, you know, I, I, it's really complicated. It's really really complicated. That's because that's what she said. What do you mean? She never used the word spoon. She, used, she said that I did something to her that never took place. There was no anything. I know nothing about this nut job. Okay, then you go on to say in the statement, and while I am not supposed to say it, I will. Why were you not supposed to say it? Because it's not politically correct to say. Read the next, go ahead, that she's not my cousin. <laughs> yeah, because it's not politically correct to say it, and I know that, but I'll say it anyway. She's accusing me of... A woman that I have no idea who she is. It came out of the blue. She's accusing me of of her. The worst thing you can do, the worst charge. Feminist king. And and you know it's you know it's not true too. You're a political operative also. You're dis <laughs> you're a disgrace. <laughs> Literally no self control. Zero self control. Incredible, phenomenal. But she's accusing me, and so are you, of 
and it never took place. And I will tell you, I made that statement and I said, well, it's politically incorrect. She's not my type. And that's 100% right. true. She's not my type. Now, in your true social statement on October 12th, Literally minus one million right here. Every time he says something like that, you can actually hear the ka-ching and like a little floating like minus one million floats above his head. Like you've just like you've just knocked a like a like a bonus loot drop off of RPG enemy or something. Um, you use the word is nen death. Specifically, you say it is a hoax and a lie, just like all the other hoaxes that have been played on me for the past seven years. You see that? Yeah. This is all Trump can see right now. If you know, you know. This is all Trump can see. This is why he couldn't read the, de the statement that was given to him earlier. It's because there's just this floating dude in front of him. He's like, what, what is that? What does that mean? What is that? I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't rip her, but the way she said it, she said she liked it anyway. And then, -ring, like, plus a million on the... <laughs> Recall making that statement. Um, and I take it... What you're saying there is um, Ms. Carroll fabricated um, her claim that you sexually assaulted her, correct? Yes, totally. Okay. 100%. Now, fair to say, you'd agree with me, would you not, that you use the term hoax quite a lot? Yes, I do. Um, CNN reported that you used it more than 250 times in 2020. Does that sound right Could to you? Could be. I've had a lot of hoaxes played on me. This um, is one of them. And how, how would you define the word hoax? Uh, a fake story, a false story, a made-up story. Something that's not true. Something that's not true, yes. Um, sitting here today, can you recall what else you have referred to as a hoax? Sure. The Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. <laughs> been proven to be a hoax. Uh, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine hoax. The uh, Mueller situation for two and a half years hoax. Ended in no collusion. It was okay, a hoax. he's referring to, one, the proven allegations that Russia interfered with the 2016 election, which they did on a concerted and extensive basis. It was found in Senate uh, investigations for which a full report is available online. The Ukraine one was where he had a quid pro quo arrangement where he would withhold dealings with Ukraine unless they um, did political favors for him. Uh, the Mueller thing was on you know, broadly that the, the Russia stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, just making sure everyone's caught up. Okay, a lot happened during his presidency. Big hoax. Uh, the lying to the FISA court hoax, the lying to Congress many times hoax by all these people, this, this scum that we have in our country, lying to Congress, hoax, the spying on my campaign, hoax, they spied on my campaign and now they admit it. Uh, that was another hoax and I could get a whole list of them. And this is a hoax too. This, when you say this and that? There's this ridiculous situation that he's we're doing so it's mad. A hoax. She's a liar and she's a sick person in my opinion. Oh, for really sure. Sick. Something wrong with her. Okay, um, in addition to the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, the Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine hoax, the Mueller, the Mueller or Mueller hoax, the lying to FISA hoax, the lying to Congress hoax, and the spying on your campaign hoax, isn't it true that you also referred to the use of mail-in ballots as a hoax? Yeah, I do, sure. I do. I and think they're very dishonest. Mail-in ballots, very dishonest. And isn't it true that you yourself have voted by mail? I do. I do. Sometimes I do, but I don't know what happens to it once uh, once you give it. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> he's just he's just handing off his ballot. And he's like, well, you know, it's a it's a. Uh, this is all going to be so much less funny in retrospect when he wins in 2024. Are you familiar, I'm sure you are, with something that's often referred to as the Access Hollywood tape? Yes, I am. Okay, let's, play, let's mark it and play it as what, 35. Oh man, picture in picture for, for, for a deposition? The future's yeah, now. She's still very beautiful. I moved on her, actually. You know, she was down in Palm Beach. I moved on her, and I failed. I'll admit it. Whoa. I did try and fuck her. She was married. <laughs> huge news there. No, no, Nancy. Yeah. No, this was marriages. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. But I couldn't get there. And she was married. 
And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. Jeez, your girl's hot as shit in the purple. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Oh, yes, the Donald is good. Whoa. Oh, my man. Wait, wait, you got to look at me when you get out of here. That is very You give me the thumbs up. Okay, you are a piece. You got to put the thumbs up. You got to okay. get the thumbs up. Okay. Can't be too happy. Yeah, let me. It's very funny. You got to get the thumbs up. Right, you and I will walk in. Oh, my God. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be the post. No, it's, it's her. It's yeah, that's her. With a gold. I better use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. I just kiss. I don't need to wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I can do anything. Look at those legs. All I can see is the legs. No, it looks good. Come on, shorty. This is the uh, pussy, pussy, pussy hoax. Get out of the way. That's a good legs. Go ahead. It's always good if you don't fall out of the bus. Like Ford, Gerald Ford, remember? <laughs> Down below. Pull the Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi Trump. How nice are you? Seeing you. Terrific. Nice to meet you. Terrific. You know Billy Bush? Oh, how are nice you? to see you. How are you doing, Ariane? Doing? doing very well, thank you. Are you ready to be a soap star? We're ready. Let's go. Make right. me a soap star. How about a little hug with Donnelly? Just got off the bus. Like okay. Oh, where's my hug? Ah. <laughs> the wing manning. Absolutely. <laughs> Melania said this was okay. That's you in that video, correct? Yes. Yes. And am I correct that that video was recorded um, in... How do Christian conservatives defend this in all seriousness? Christian conservatives like um, their pro They like it. And a lot of them found it relatable that Donald Trump was just openly talking about sexually assaulting women. They love that shit. January withdrawn. They think it's sexy. But not Trump. He's not a Christian. He doesn't think it's sexy. He thinks he thinks it's tragic, actually. Am I correct that video was recorded in September 2005? I guess that would... I don't know the date, but whatever date it was is fine with me. <laughs> and am I correct that you were engaged to your current wife sometime in 2004? I don't know. Am I correct that you what? married your current wife in January 2005? I don't know relative to that tape, no. That's not a relative question. To, it's now famous, and that video was Billy Bush? That's right. Please this is me. very this is very old news, fully litigated during debates, during everything else, fully litigated. Okay. And you know what I said then and I say it now? Locker room talk. That was locker room talk. Okay. That's what goes on. On my locker room. And you did say in the video that you quote moved on her heavily, correct? Excuse me? You do say in the video that you quote yeah. moved on her heavily. Uh, I I did say that, yes, okay. absolutely. And you do say in the video that as part of trying to have sex with this woman, you took her furniture shopping, correct? Uh we actually did look for furniture, yes. So that was true. You actually Which, took this woman in. I think so. I've been, it's been a long time ago. It's how long is that? A long time ago. But I think so. I do think so. Is that the only occasion when you took a woman shopping? I think so. Whoop. And you say in, it in again, 80 she's years? very famous in this video. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. <laughs> There's another million. <laughs> so it's locker room talk, but also, yeah, yeah, that exactly, Vermin. Yeah, Donald Trump's actually just really good at improv because he's yes anding all this shit that gets thrown at him. Stars that, that they can grab women by the pussy. Well, that's what that's if you look over the last million years. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been we saw largely this true, earlier. not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. <laughs> and you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> He's... Um... Uh, yeah? I... Look at his face! I think you can say that, yeah. And... Now, you said... before a couple of minutes ago, that this was just locker room talk. He's such a queen. And so does that mean that you didn't really mean it? No, it's locker room talk. I don't know. It's just the way people talk. <laughs> okay. Now, are you familiar with a woman by the name of Natasha Stoinoff? No. Natasha. Stoinoff. You'll have to give me a little bit do of you remember she wrote, Do you remember background. she wrote about you a lot when she worked at People Magazine? <clears throat> going to hurt oh, my I, chest. I do remember Fuck. there was some woman that wrote, and then she, a long time later, I think she wrote a wonderful story. And then a long time later, as I remember it, 
A long time later, she said that I was aggressive with her. But she wrote the most beautiful story. Huh? And then all of a sudden, like, is it a year or two years later, she comes out with this phony story uh, that I was aggressive. I said, well, why would she have written such a good story for People magazine? She wrote a really nice piece. And then all of a sudden, like, uh, you know, years or months, many months later, she came up with this phony charge. Let's watch a video, and again, I apologize for the technology, where you talk about Ms. Doinoff's allegations. Are we marking this? Um, we're going to mark it. It's a, a clip of a video from a campaign event in West Palm Beach on October 13, 2016, and we're going to mark it as DJT 36. My cheeks hurt. The ones on my face. Are then there was a writer from People Magazine who wrote a story on Melania and myself on our first anniversary. The story was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was lovely. But last night we hear that after 12 years, this took place 12 years ago, this story, a new claim that I made inappropriate advances during the interview to this writer. And I ask a very simple question. Why wasn't it part of the story that appeared 20 or 12 years ago? Why wasn't it part of the story? Why didn't they make it part of the story? I was one of the biggest stars on television with The Apprentice, and it would have been one of the biggest stories of the year. Think of it. She's He's bragging about himself while addressing, during a campaigning for president, addressing an audience to defend himself against a rape accusation or sexual assault accusation. He's bragging like, well, if I if I'd done, then since I'm such a big boy, wouldn't it have been a big boy story? Because I'm such a big boy, you know? Doing this story on Melania, who's pregnant at the time, and Donald Trump, our one-year anniversary. And she said, I made inappropriate advances. And by the way, the area was a public area, people all over the place. Take a look. You take a look. Look at her. Look at her words. You tell me what you think. I don't think so. I don't think so. You'd agree with me that the person you were just talking about in that video was Natasha Stoinoff, correct? Yes. Okay. Are you familiar with a woman by the name of Jessica Leeds? No, I don't think so. But explain. Go ahead. Does that mean that just refresh your recollection yes, of who Jessica Leeds is? This woman made up a story just like your client made it up. Just made up a story having to do with sitting, me in a, sitting next to me in an airplane. Sure seems to keep happening to this guy, huh? And and uh, I mean, I'll have to read this again, but that story was so false also. But this was, I guess, making out as opposed to what your client said. This story was so false. This is a disgrace also. And do you recall speaking about Ms. Leeds' allegations at campaign events in 2016? I might have. I thought it was so, like, like your client, I thought it was so ridiculous. Okay, let's take a look at the next video, which is DJT 38. <laughs> pussy, pussy, pussy hoax is still killing me. It sounds like a One Piece fruit. It sounds like a JoJo stand. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully our great movement, and there's never been anything like this in the United States, and the only way they figure they can slow it down is to come up with people that are willing to... Say, oh, I was with Donald Trump in 1980. Nothing changed. I was sitting with him on an airplane. <laughs> and he went after me on the plane. Yeah, I'm going to go after him. Believe me, she would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. Man. You don't know. He's always been like this first, first defense against the sexual assault accusation. She was ugly. Just with no hesitation to an audience that came out for a campaign event. That would not be my first choice. When you said in that video that Ms. Leeds would not be your <laughs> first choice, you were referring and to then her he won. physical looks, correct? Just the overall, not, I, I look at her, I see her, I hear what she says, whatever. You wouldn't be a choice of mine either, to be honest with you, I hope you know. <laughs> Ring. Incredible. 
flawless execution. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I Ugh. My poor Costa is just getting it under control. Well, I mean, hey, at least at least now that lawyer knows that uh Donald won't for like right now. <laughs> Uninsulted. I would not under any circumstances have any interest in you. Keep going. I'm being, I'm honest when I say it. Thank you. Uh, she, I would not have any interest in. The video we just watched where you talked about Miss Leeds. What else did you know about Miss Leeds that would indicate to you that she was- How is he not held in contempt of court? Cause this is a, this is, um, this is a deposition. It's not trial. Um, he's talking to a lawyer, not the judge. Would not have been your first choice other than how she looked. I don't know. I think I probably saw her on television or something, uh, but I don't want to be insulting. But when people accuse me of something, I think I have a right to be insulting because they're insulting me. They're doing the ultimate. DeSantis insult. stands no chance against this man. No chance. Can you imagine DeSantis going up against this guy on the debate stage? Meatball Ron. DeSantis, Meatball Ron, as I like to call it. I wouldn't. He's not my type. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. Him. Uh, he's very bad. <laughs> Stories. And then I'm not allowed to. Speak my mind? No, I, I just MAG uh, communism. Would not have, MAG uh, communism. Been anywhere on a list? I just, just wouldn't have been for me. Nope. It's disgusting. It's what she said was disgusting. Can you imagine doing that on an airplane? What she said? I'm doing that on an airplane. That's almost as ridiculous as doing it in Bergdorf Goodman in a dressing room. Isn't it true that just a few minutes ago you couldn't remember the date of your engagement to your current wife Melania? No, no, no. We're talking about a different thing. We're talking about a woman where. Something happened that was inappropriate, right? Inappropriate. What? It was highly inappropriate. She would remember that date. I would imagine she would have complained to the airline. She would know the flight. She would know everything about it. She didn't even know the year, as I remember it. Just like your client doesn't know the year, doesn't know anything about it. If something happened like that to your client, your client would know the second. She'd know down to the second. She'd know the day, the month, the year. Right down to the second. In the last paragraph of the statement that you made. That's obviously not true, in case you were curious. On June 21, that appears in the Laura Lipton tweet, DJ220. You said as follows. Last paragraph where? Uh, of uh, DJ220. Go um, ahead, what is it? You say as follows. The world should know what's really going on. It is a disgrace, and people should pay dearly for such false accusations. You see that? Yeah. And the person you met who should pay dearly for such false accusations was E. Jean Carroll, correct? Yeah, and I think their attorneys, too. I think the attorneys like you are uh, a big part of it. Because you know it's a phony case. Five million dollars. Incredible stuff. How does he get away with it, lol? Well, this time he didn't. Man. Oh, boy. I haven't laughed that hard in so... Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I need to calm down. We have to calm down.